good morning to the animals and the birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. What I hope to do for small children is allow them to really, really enjoy their first few years of school. I want them to feel safe. I want them to feel secure and happy and to really, really enjoy their school days. Each one a petal of one great flower that closes by night and unfolds with the light. What attracted me about Waldorf education was that it allowed children to learn without being told. They really learn unconsciously through their play. My own heart is like the sun giving warmth to everyone. What I try to do, and I think what most kindergarten teachers try to do, is create a home-from-home -home environment and also to work with rhythm and repetition so the children really feel secure. They know what's coming next. They don't have to ask me. They know that tomorrow's going to be walk day. They know that Tuesday's going to be craft day. Wednesday's painting day. Thursday's baking day. They know the rhythm of the morning. We really do look at child development the whole way through a Steiner school, but especially in the kindergarten, we look at those formative years where as a little three-year-old they come into us and they're so dreamy. They just want to bobble around with the teacher and follow what they're doing. When they feel safe, they go off and play for a little bit, come back to the safety of the teacher. That four to five period where the world of creative play just pours out of them. Everything they've seen and heard, this, this, this comes out of them in their play. And then you get the older child, the five to six year old, where it's more idea based. And they're the ones that you find standing around, having a little chat about what they're going to play first before they move on to their game. And they watched as the pancake got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it jumped out of the pan and it went rolling down the lane. We do a ring time every day when we're in the classroom. It's that time where they've had free play and they've had an out breath and then we're all coming together as a group. And off he went down the lane with a clickety, clackety, clee. My circle times and my stories will correspond with the season that's happening at the moment or the activity that we're doing in the kindergarten. It's about uh, movement and singing and their language is, is able to expand. Blessings on the meal and peace upon the earth and peace upon our families and peace upon our kindergartens. And then from circle time, what we do, we then move into where we all sit down together at the table and we share food. It's been made by the assistant and with the children and then we all sit down together and eat it. It starts with a little verse and a candle to bring a real sense of reverence towards the food that we're eating. Allowing children, especially from an early age, to, to do lots of things outside and have a real awareness of the natural world really helps them to feel connected. They're not just absorbed in the classroom, they're absorbed in what's going on outside the classroom. It's about really allowing children to feel part of the world, the earth, what happens in it. We gather a lot from the park, we gather a lot from the commons when we go out. So uh, a lot of the craft materials that we're using has come from the natural world. It helps their imagination. No, I don't have a train set, but I do have a basket of pine cones which the children might put together, and that is the train set. This is, again, it's just really strengthening their imaginative forces.
So we end each kindergarten session with story time, where again the children have had that out breath of going outside for outdoor play, and then we all come in together, and it's another teacher-led activity. We don't read from a book, I learn the story and then I bring it to them, I tell it to them because it enchants the children. They build their own pictures in their own imaginations of the story that I'm telling. And a lot of the little nature stories that I do, I use I have a puppet show that I'll do with it. And the children adore the puppets. They're very simple. I make them in front of them. So they see me doing the puppet show and then they will imitate that usually the next day. What I notice about Steiner children is they seem to have a thirst for knowledge because it's not put upon them. They're allowed to explore and learn it themselves. And what inspires me is, is that I really do believe that this is the right way to work with children. That's why I turn up every day to try and create an a healthy environment where they are learning through play. Children are loved. They're loved in their first years of school. They're loved and they're looked after and they're nurtured. That's my job, is to nurture these children when they're away from home.